The population of Wales is just over 3 million people. The population of the United States is about 332 million, which means Wales would be approximately the 33rd largest state in the country. Yet the score of the match between the US and Wales was 1-1. While the Americans qualified for the World Cup again, they are a long way from winning one. So, what would it actually take for the US to take the tournament? Well, it could start with these three simple things. One, growth. According to Gallup, soccer has surpassed hockey as the fourth most popular sport in the country and is actually catching up to baseball. However, that is still a long way away from where it sits around the globe as the world's most popular game. Perhaps the upward trend will continue as the younger generations age given U.S. soccer registers nearly 3 million players annually. Two, development. The current squad is the second youngest in the World Cup, with an average age of just under 26 years old, which is a good sign for how talent development is going. But top players are not coming stateside to train, as even the top Americans are identified by whether they can make it to Europe. Spain, for instance, has many strong leagues and has a promotion and relegation system starting at a very young age as talent is developed over a longer period of time in a much more competitive environment. Three, incentive. Most kids do not dream of becoming MLS stars, not only because the domestic league is not top tier, but also because it does not pay anywhere close to the level of the other major professional sports leagues. The average MLS salary is about $472,000, which is great for a normal job, but pales in comparison to the likes of the NBA, MLB, and NFL, where those numbers come in at approximately eight, four, and three million, respectively. 